leaf here. So, I just worked out this player control here. It's got full mouse control for pitch and yaw, Q and E keys for roll, roll 360 degrees in either direction, forward, backward, left, right, and up and down movement with keyboard and control. Space, I mean, yes, space up, control down, W forward, S back, D right, A left, mouse, E roll this way, Q roll that way. Okay, let me show you what the basics are. So, here's the pawn. It's got a basic floating, floating pawn movement component. For setting up the rotations, it's pretty simple. Just plug in the axis, the input axis events. Plug the yaw into the yaw, pitch into the pitch, roll into the roll. For the movement, for the forward movement, and backward, we use that axis event. Plug it into an add movement input. For the vector, for the world direction, we get actor forward vector. For move right, we use for going left and right, we use that axis event. Plug that into an add movement input. For which vector, we get the actor right vector. And for up and down, we plug that axis input into the add movement input and we get the actor of vector. Okay, that's pretty much all the basics for actually making our pawn, ship, whatever it is that we like, character, whatever you want, move up and down. Now here's some of the more tricky things. Okay, so in my game mode, the pawn, default pawn class is set to the pawn that I made. Though I did make some custom, I did make a custom controller class, and I'll take you to that now. In the controller class, by default, the rotation values are all a bit different. So the yaw value is just two point five. You can set this however you want it to, by just how much rotation that you're going to get. In this case I did all 2.5. For the pitch, that's up to negative 2.5, as I guess by default the pitch is... I don't know. That's how it works. You can mess around with these however you want. Okay. Another thing I had to go to is the custom had to edit a camera manager as well. So let's go to that. Make a custom camera manager. This is where we can set the limits on our rotations. This is very important as well. For the pitch men, set that to zero. Pitch max. Set that to 359.998993. For the yaw, it's like that by default. For the roll, min and roll max, set those to that as well. This part is critical, or else we can't really rotate the camera as much as we'd like to. And that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, one last thing. Let's take a quick look at the inputs. Never mind the turn rate. I'm just... I was working off the default first person blueprint template for this. So W and S, forward and back, 
So that's a negative 1. Positive 1 W, negative 1 S. For left and right movement, A is negative, D is positive. For the turn, for the turning for the pitch, I mean yaw, yeah. For the yaw, that's set to mouse X. For the pitch, that's set to mouse Y with the negative scale. I guess if we inverted the other scale, we could make that positive. For the rule, E positive, Q negative, and for moving up and down, space positive, left control negative. I hope that helped.